Um, thank you for coming this evening. There could be a million and one better things that you could be doing. Uh, but thank you for coming along to hear me this evening. Um, what I want to do is, in about half an hour or so, half an hour, minute, is give you a clear understanding of why your business should be on Twitter. Uh, give you a sort of an appreciation of the impact that it can have with you, with your business. Um, know if it's actually relevant to your business. There are some people here that Twitter is not going to work for. We can talk a little bit about that. I'm going to know why, where to get any help from here. So where I thought we'd start is with my story. Um, but it may be a common story for a minute. I started on Twitter uh, April 2008. Before that, I was primarily involved in selling medical products to the NHS. A few other things in between, but that's my big sort of corporate career. And what I found by selling medical products to the NHS was that if you rang them up and said, can I come and see you, I want to sell you something, they didn't want to see you for about two years. If you rang up and said, can I come in and do some training with you, I used to get a room with about 80 doctors and nurses with me the next day. So I learned very quickly that one of my best ways of selling things, if that's the right word, was to train people, to guide, to educate people. So that's how I achieved that success. And to a certain extent, the analogy through Twitter is very much the same. So what I'm about to do is to share with you stories, share with you my experiences, because everything I'm going to talk about is what I physically have done. Not, I'm just reading out of a textbook and made it up. This is how I do Twitter through the experience that I've had. So April 2008, I started with Twitter. And like many people here, I thought it was a load of nonsense. As I moved in here, thinking it's a load of nonsense. Good, thank you. Okay. I couldn't understand why anybody would want to know why I was eating a cheese sandwich or going out for a cup of tea or anything. So I got my account. I thought the website was awful. I thought, why would anyone want to know what I'm doing? Um, and so I left it. Then, about two or three months later, all I kept hearing in the media was this by Stephen Fry, and he was really getting involved with Twitter. And it was Twitter and Twitter everywhere. So I thought, okay, time maybe to have a re-look at it. I came back, and it's fair to say at that moment in time, I got completely upset. Okay. To such an extent that I was on there pretty much every day, I was learning all about it, researching, learning, connecting with some Twitter sort of expert type people, but really testing and measuring and trying. And it's what I would call the sort of 10,000 hours rule. Okay. The reason why I know more than most people is because I've done 10,000 hours of research and trying and testing and doing it. Other people have done that.